gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Collins, for his opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for all that have gathered here again. Here we go again. The theater is open, and the summations are coming in. In fact, right now we're again running over the norms of congressional oversight. We're dabbing at the edges of rubbing roughshod on the Constitution, asking for uh, things that we don't. But I am glad about one thing. I'm glad that the chairman read into the record today the Mueller report. I'm glad that he quoted, as he said, this is a quote directly from the Mueller report. I just wish my chairman would actually go read the rest of it that he has uh, been offered to read, which he has chose not to read. Um, but he did leave out one thing. He left out something in the Mueller report from just now. He read McGann's testimony beautifully, did everything, but he left out what he doesn't want to have to come back to and the frustrating thing that has brought us here again and again and again, and that is the conclusions. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction charge. There's nothing here. After two years of doing this, we can read it in. You can talk about how you don't like it. You can talk about what you would like to ask. But at the end of the day, so the Democrats are here trying again. The Mueller report concluded there was no collusion, no obstruction, because the report failed to provide damning information against the president. The majority claims we need to dig deeper, deeper than the two years of investigation conducted by what is considered a prosecutorial dream team, because that probe ended without criminal charges against the president or his family. The special counsel closed up shop without giving Democrats anything to deliver <laughs> to their base. Now the Democrats are trying desperately to make something out of nothing, which is why <coughs> the chairman has, again, haphazardly subpoenaed today's witnesses. That move, though, has actually ensured the witness will not testify. You know, this is becoming a pattern. The chairman could have invited the witness to testify behind closed doors, but that would have been politically expedient, and you wouldn't have been here, and the show would not have been as exciting. A closed-door conversation would not have generated those headlines and everything that we're looking at today, even gaveling in today's hearing without a witness is theatrical. The cameras love a spectacle, and the majority loves the chance to rant against the administration. I just am glad today to see that we don't have chicken on the dice. The chairman orchestrated today's confrontation when he could have avoided it because he's more interested in the fight than fact-finding. So don't be fooled. You may have come morning. You may have an opinion that says everything is wrong today with the Mueller report and the president is guilty. 